Hola, buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches a todos. Bienvenidos de nuevo. ¿Cómo están ustedes? Hope you're well during these crazy ass times. But I'm glad you're here. As always, gratitude is my only attitude. You could have been on YouTube watching anything. You could have been watching a guy who, if the phrase, I don't give a f was a person, it would be this guy. Or you could have been watching when trying to look sexy in a shower goes wrong. But you're right back here with me and I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite stocks. And before I do, just another reminder, if you're looking for a mortgage or a remortgage or any kind of mortgage services, check out the good people at Mortigo. They will hook you up and see you right. But anyway, let's roll the credits and get this video cracking. And please like, share, subscribe to the video and hit that notification bell for when I make a new video, you'll be notified straight away. And yeah, let's roll the credits, get this cracking. Bienvenidos de nuevo, amigos y familia. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, today, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite companies because it goes back to a video I made, one of my first videos, where I was talking about you should buy um, stocks from companies which you buy from regular or from products that you own. So in some kind of way, you're putting the money back into your own pocket that you spend consuming. And um, this particular company, I have been spending money with for years. So, yeah, it's about time I get involved, but I've been involved with them. And to be honest, I ain't seen many, many videos about this company at all. Um, so it's almost like it's flying, flying below the radar, which I'm glad about, because it gives me a chance to load the boat before everyone else gets into it and hikes up the price. Anyway, I'm talking about Take-Two Interactive. All right, if we have a look at them on a five-day chart, uh, not bad, gone up uh, just under one and a half percent. But on a monthly, they're down, on a six-month chart, they're down 14%. Also, I believe, yeah, on a year-to-date, they're down. But on a full calendar year, they're actually up 20.73%. 20 20 and on five years, no doubt, they'll be, yeah, they'll be going up nicely. But even on the year's chart, um, gone up 20%. And as you can see, each time they dip, um, besides here, they're making the lows that they're having are higher lows. So, you know, hopefully that trend continues. And even when there's a dip, it's not gonna dip as, as low as it did before. But who are Take-Two Interactive, I hear you ask? Headquartered in New York City, Take-Two Interactive Software Inc. is a leading developer, publisher, and marketer of interactive entertainment for consumers around the globe. We develop and publish products principally through Rockstar Games, 2K, Private Division, Social Point, PlayDots, and Nordius. Our products are designed for console systems and personal computers, including smartphones and tablets and are delivered through physical retail, digital download, online platforms, and cloud streaming services. The company's common stock is publicly traded on NASDAQ under the symbol TTWO. All right, of all the videos I've made, this is probably the one I've been looking forward to covering most since um, this game here, Grand Theft Auto, I've played for many, many years. And Take Two own Rockstar, and Rockstar is the studios that make Grand Theft Auto, amongst other titles. Um, this game has to, I'm pretty sure it is, be the number one selling game of all time. Um, this same game alone has been out since, I believe, 2013, and it's been released on a pff, two, genera two or three generations worth of consoles and it's showing no signs of easing up 
to the point I'm pretty sure that's why GTA 6 hasn't been um, hasn't been released yet well they must be making it by now but GTA 5 is bringing in so much money every few months or so there's a new update and um, you know there's loads of in-game purchases which which you can buy so when that's the case why rush to bring out gta 6 this formula is clearly working rockstar do make other games but clearly um gta 5 is the the jewel in the crown it is it's the big one um they even made an in-game currency where you can buy um i believe they're called bull shark card points which you can then make purchases with your character in the game. So you, as the player, will be trading real money, which you have worked for, for pretend money in a game, which your character then spends. And they made a ridiculous amount of money from doing this. Like, that is sheer genius um, from Take Two's behalf. Um, and it shows no sign of easing up. This game just grows from strength to strength to a game that's out on three uh, generations and no sh shows no sign of easing up. Why would you rush to bring out the, the next one? Right, these are other games which Rockstar have made. Guaranteed uh, Grand Theft Auto, that whole series is head and shoulders better than anything else they make. Red Dead Redemption 2 was pretty good, but I don't believe it lived up to the hype and especially for how long we wait for it but it's still brought in loads of money so you know as an investor i'm happy um, but these are other titles which which they've brought out and not just on the current generation of consoles these games have been been out for years so they have no doubt brought in good revenue for for take two entertainment it's actually mind-blowing how much take two would have made just off gta alone but they also have this other side, uh, 2K Entertainment, which makes loads of other games also. Um, the NBA series, like uh, 2K. Um, they also have the mobile version, 2K21, which, which sold loads, and especially out in America. Not so much here in the UK, we're more into FIFA. Um, so, but yeah, you know, I still know loads of people that bought it and played it. The whole WWE series, PGA Tour, Borderlands. I remember Borderlands was big back in the day. You know, these games, they all do big numbers. They're not some small games what nobody's heard of. Uh, Mafia, I had a friend that was well into Mafia. Civilization, I haven't heard of that, but you know, these games, they, they really bring in big money. And some of these games like Borderlands and Bioshock, they really do have a cult following where, you know, you may not have heard of it, but when you find out how much people are really into these games, it's, it's a whole new world. Undertake 2 is also Private Division, which I won't lie to you, I have never heard of. Private Division is a developer-focused publisher that empowers studios to develop the games that they are passionate about creating while providing the support that they need to make their titles critically and commercially successful on a global scale. Right, so as you can see, Undertake 2 Interactive, you have Rockstar, 2K, Private Division, Ghost Story, Social Point, Dots, and Nordius. Right, before we even get into the numbers um, that Take Two Interactive are bringing in, I'm telling you, they are flying well below the radar. They are doing so well when it comes to any kind of numbers. It doesn't really matter who you're comparing them to. Look at that, 2 point billion in cash and short-term investments delivered a record net bookings of 2.99, nearly 3 billion. Right, Borderlands 3, 10 million units sold to date. And these games ain't cheap. We're talking 50 pound minimum, um, sometimes 60 or 65 on the later generation consoles. Net bookings from recurrent consumer spending grew 34% to a new record and accounted for 51% of total net bookings. Grand Theft Auto 5, my favorite game, one of the most critically acclaimed, no, it is the most critically acclaimed and commercially successful video game of all time with over 130 million units sold to date. 130 million times minimum of 50 pound is a lot of money. 
They've got 4,300 developers working in game development and 23 studios around the world. NBA K220 sold in over 12 million units and expect lifetime units, recurrent consumer spending and net bookings to be the highest ever for a 2K sports title. That's good. And here they don't even mention what WWE's brought in, what the PGA series have brought in, all of that's to be added to. Right, in a letter to the shareholders, fiscal 2020 was another extraordinary year for Take Two, during which they achieved numerous milestones, including record net bookings of nearly 3 billion, as well as record digitally delivered net bookings. Net bookings from recurrent consumer spending and earnings. Then they list the games which have brought in billions. Their key achievements. We delivered record digitally delivered net revenue and net bookings. Digitally delivered net revenue grew 41% to 2.38 billion. Digitally delivered net bookings grew 35% to 2.44 billion. We generated record net revenue and net bookings from recurrent consumer spending. Recurrent consumer spending accounted for 45% of total net revenue and 51% of total net bookings. They released NBA 2K20, which we expect to generate the highest lifetime units, recurrent consumer spending and net bookings ever for a 2K sports title. And like I said before, with GTA, nearly seven years after their launch, GTA 5 and GTA 5 Online continue to be significant contributors to our results. Grand Theft Auto 5 has sold in over 130 million units, cementing further its standing as a must-have title of the current console generation. And I'll briefly show you what I meant with these uh, shark points which, which Rockstar created, which is, is genius from the company's point of view. Um, so you as the player of the game have a character and if you want to purchase uh, items for the character, whether it's clothes or you want to purchase a car, um, you have to build up points to do that. But if you want to take a shortcut and just buy these points, you can. Like here, you can see you can buy a, Megalo a Megalodon shark card. Um, what's that? $8 million on it. You're going to pay $64.99 or $99.99 to buy points for a character in a game. You're going to trade money you have gone out and worked for and people are doing it. It sounds crazy to me, but people are really doing it. And there's loads of cards which, which people buy for these characters. And it's just brought in a crazy amount of revenue for Take-Two. Like when asked here, how much money has Rockstar made from GTA Shark cards? Someone has answered, there are no official numbers, but they confirmed a couple years ago that they made 1 billion from shark cards. So you can guess they have made around 1.7 billion by now. Those aren't official numbers, but you can imagine that number being around that with how much copies they've sold. And this game's been out since 2013 and still selling strong to this day. And what's good is take two have a successful growth strategy. They're not just resting on the laurels from uh, GTA 5. It says their strategy is to develop the highest quality, most compelling interactive entertainment franchises in the business and deliver them on every platform around the world that is relevant to our audience. Complementing our core business with offerings that drive ongoing engagement with, with and recurrent consumer spending on including virtual currency, which we've just spoken about, in-game purchases and add-on content. Our titles after their initial purchase is an important high margin growth opportunity and therefore a key strategic priority to, of our organization. We now support virtually all of our new releases with innovative offerings designed to achieve this objective. Recurrent consumer spending also helps to strengthen our results between frontline releases while providing long-term value to our consumers and extends the lives of our products. Also, one thing to remember is not just consoles and the amount they're making off the consoles is ridiculous, but also they're going to save money where a lot of games are aiming to release games digitally. So you're not even going to have the cost of making the disc and mass producing that no more. And also with their acquisition of Social Point, they're now taking over the mobile market as well.
We believe that Social Point is a perfect complement to our business because it produces high quality entertainment that can attract and retain a loyal, highly engaged player base and deliver sustainable results. Social Point has a number of exciting titles planned for launch in the coming years, and we continue to view mobile games as an important growth opportunity for Take Two. Also, what is brilliant going forward, what's going to bring in so much money is Take Two or into esports. You remember as um, kids, your parents would tell you, get off that computer, you ain't gonna make no money, blah, 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 for how wrong they were. Um, we are very pleased with the ongoing progress of the NBA 2K League, our joint venture with the NBA that marked the first competitive gaming league jointly owned by a major professional sports league. The NBA 2K League had its inaugural season starting in May 2018 and in May 2020. It kicked off its third season with 23 teams participating up from 21 during the prior year. The league has steadily been building its portfolio of high profile partnerships and sponsorships. And there are loads of them here. AT&T, GameStop, HyperX, Raynor Gaming, SAP, Snickers. There's loads of them. In addition, the NBA 2K League airs live on ESPN, ESPN's digital platform, Sportsnet, Twitch and YouTube, and on delay on ECG Network South, Southeast Asia. We are very excited about the continued success and growth of the NBA 2K League, which has the long-term potential to enhance engagement and to be a driver of profits for our company. Right, it's interesting looking at this chart, which they provide. If you would have invested in Take Two from March 31st, 2015, you would have outperformed the NASDAQ every year. Uh, also, if you had reinvested your dividends. But currently right now, they do not pay a dividend, but I'm gonna be in this for long term. So I'm hoping they bring it back and that will just make me love the stock even more. And just what I like to see when looking at um, a 10K, uh, everything in every year has gone up and not just by a little bit, by a lot. If, as we can see here from 2016, 17, 18, 19, 2020, everything has gone up. Uh, net revenue, gross profit, earnings per share has gone up. Total assets has gone up drastically, which I really like. And their long-term debt has literally disappeared. Uh, maybe one of you guys could let me know in the comments if you know if these dashes mean they haven't reported that yet or they simply haven't got none. Um, if they haven't got no long-term debt, even better. And to be honest with the numbers that, um, you know, the revenue that they're bringing in, I would be surprised if they've got much long-term debt. I, I actually think this is, is none. So hats off to them right i don't want to keep banging on about the numbers and how good they are but one thing i'd really like to point out is you know during this time when loads of businesses either through logistical problems or having to close up offices because of you know the ronies um the numbers dropped and then what we was really seeing is how quick they could get out the hole and work their way back up but take two i don't want to say their business is pandemic proof um but just looking at the numbers everything still went up nothing nothing dipped if anything you'd imagine um people at home more playing more games buying more games so yeah they, they done very well they've done very well during this time their numbers have only gone up Right, I like to have a look on the board of directors and see who's in charge of my money because that's initially what they're holding when I'm buying shares and I want to make sure it's in good hands. So I do have a good um, look sometimes and do a bit of background research on them. Uh, the chairman and the chief executive officer is, sorry if I butcher your name, Strauss Zelnick. So, you know, I'll take his name, put it into LinkedIn, see what his background is. And there he is. And he's been with Take Two since, well, for 14 years and four months. Before that, he was a partner at ZMC, president and CEO of BMG Entertainment. Did not know that, and I know BMG Entertainment. President and CEO of Crystal Dynamics. He was the president and COO of 20th Century Fox. 
you know, these ain't small companies. Uh, he was educated at Wesleyan University, then went to Harvard Law School and then Harvard Business School. You know, I like to have a good look and, and, and see who's steering this ship. Strauss is a true visionary leader with a meticulous eye for detail and uncanny ability to motivate people and obtain results. That's what you want to hear from the person who's potentially in control of what you're going to be making. But you know, with this stuff, you can do as little or a lot as much as you want. That is literally up to you. But if I'm going to be putting a considerable amount of money into a company, I want to know who's running it. Right, in Yahoo Finance, I can see that only 1.72% of the shares are held by all insiders, which is good in a sense where I don't need to worry about someone major like a CEO or COO quitting and they own 40-50% of, of, of the shares, you know, making the shares plummet. Um, 92% of all shares are held by institutions and the top institutional holders are Vanguard and BlackRock. And you can see the top mutual fund holders also. The biggest is Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund. Right, on the day of recording, you can see that the share price is currently £172.23. And if we go into tip rank, we can see that it does have a good upside for holding this share. They reckon on a high, it could reach $250, on an average $215 and a low 178. I rank that pretty low risk myself. Um, 12 analysts say they would buy the stock, five would hold and one would sell. Right, they've actually given us a smart score of eight, which I'm happy with. Um, a few stocks I've been looking at recently have been six years and a couple sevens. But the analyst rating, they've given it a moderate buy, tip rank investors, the sentiment is very positive, along with the uh, blogger's opinion, it's bullish. New sentiment, neutral. Hedge fund activity has increased and the technicals, as we've discussed, are very positive along with the fundamentals. So in whole, I reckon this is a very, very good stock. I'm surprised it doesn't get more coverage or it's not spoken about um, as often as other stocks, but I plan to build a, a big position in it. Um, just a bit bigger than a couple other ones I plan to hold long term. I don't want to be overweight, but yeah, I do plan to have a, a decent sized position in this company going forward. I can't see any reason why, why the price would decrease. They're doing a lot of things to stay relevant and moving with the times. Like the esports, that's going to bring in loads. Um, the games they've got coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with Take Two. Right, to wrap this up, I know I've been going on for a bit. I think this video has been a bit longer than I intended, but you know, it's a company I'm very passionate about because like I said, I believe in buying into companies where you spend your money often. And I've been buying from take two from, well, the very early 2000s, if not the late nineties. So yeah, um, I'm just very passionate about this company. They're going to have some catalyst coming up next year. Um, another game I didn't mention was Tiny Tina's Wonderland. That's going to no doubt boost the share price once they start reporting earnings from that. And no doubt whenever GTA 6 decides to finally come out, um, I can fully understand why they're in no rush to bring it out with how much GTA 5 is, is currently making. But that's just another catalyst in, in, in the waiting. That's going to... I don't want to say double the share price, but it's, it's going to make a, a load of money. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I find, you know, like I said, they're, they're not recession proof, but they've maintained during that time where a lot of companies went the opposite way. And yeah, um, I'm looking to build quite a big position in this stock. So... You know, just because I'm very passionate about it doesn't mean you should just jump up and go buy this share. Do your own due diligence. You may see something you don't you don't like, but me personally, I didn't find anything I didn't like. 
it was all, all positive for me. But always do your due diligence. You know, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not your financial advisor. So all, before you part with any money on the stock market, make sure you always um, do your due diligence and, and check the company out. But thanks for watching this video. I know it's been a bit of a long one, but you know, gratitude is my only attitude. So I'm glad you tuned in for another episode. I'm going to try my hardest to make another video next week. I've got I've got a few planned. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Um, take care of yourself during these crazy times. And yeah, until the next one. Hasta la semana próxima. Adios. Oh, and please, 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 P.S. I forgot. Um, please like the video, um, share it with your friends if they've got an interest in gaming or the stock market. And yeah, join us. Hit that notification bell. Be notified of when I post. It should be weekly. Like I've said many times with work, it is what it is. But I'm trying to do my best to get these videos out weekly. But yeah, thanks again. Hasta la semana próxima. Adios.